Take it to Dennis Water. Goal of the day was to get up at 4.30 on my day off. Didn't happen that way because I kept waking up during the night. So I fell back asleep at 4.30 in the morning. No, 7.30 in the morning. So this week uh, I work Wednesday through Sunday. First four days will be second shift. Fifth day will be uh, morning shift at 5 in the morning. So that'll give me a chance to get to the gym. Five days before my morning shift on Sunday. Today will be day one of exercising because I'm up to 198 or more. I haven't weighed myself in four days and I was 198 four days ago. So the reason, we're, the reason I wear a hoodie to the gym is it makes me sweat. Which I've researched that when you sweat that means you're burning fat. Breathing and sweating turns into less fat or burning of fat. If you have a different opinion than that, please comment below. Now serious athletes when they're trying to lose weight, especially the day of the event, like in wrestling, during the week they used to wear rubber suits. And you'd be sweating throughout the whole workout. So today is Tuesday. The following Saturday I'm heading up to New Hampshire to visit the son and the son's family. We're going to be having a sit down to figure out what I'm doing when I retire in the next nine months. Which means I'm going to either have to break out my, some of my old skills that I used to have that I don't have anymore or create new skills. Either way, it's going to be pretty exciting doing something different than I'm currently doing now. But it's probably going to have to entail both sides of the families. Now, if I wasn't married, you wouldn't have to take that in consideration, but when you have the mini handcuff, you do. Especially if it's important to you. Which is scary because sometimes you have to have conversations that you don't want to have. But 66 years old is coming up next month. Which means maybe it's time to fully grow the man teeth. Get rid of that one stubborn baby tooth that you've been trying to get rid of in your life. What do you think about that? You know what to do. Help some people. goals is you have to step out on your own and not look back so if you look back and wallow and all the stuff that you couldn't do or you can't do you're never gonna get there today was a half hour walk in the treadmill and a half hour with the weights but on my fourth on my fourth set of dumbbell curls I got up to 30 pounds eight reps so I'm a little bit better I'm one step up Got out those dumbbells, three more steps though, to get the, back to where I used to be. That's a lot of weight. But I'm gonna keep working towards that. Keep working towards that. So yesterday I got a couple of hoodie sweatshirts embroidered. With a fragile logo. Let me know what you think about it. If you like the name or if you don't like it. If you don't like it, cause some trouble in my, in my comment section. I'm thinking with my own brand name on a sweatshirt, I better represent. So now there's no going back. If I go back, it's just embarrassment. I've got nine more months in my current job before I start my own path again, which means starting another business. I'm going to do another hour workout tonight. I've got to push the envelope. And i got to not be afraid to open the envelope where you took your SAT test for college and then you got the envelope saying how um, middle of the road you were. And your old physical tests are a rude awakening. We all know we haven't been doing anything. You've lost a lot or more than you think. If you want to get physically better, just plain lose weight. My thing is uh, I want to get some mobility back. 
come down to Crunch Gym on Erie Boulevard, we can do it together. So goal of the day is going to be diet, water, and exercise, and I'm going to be uh, weed whacking the lawn today, cleaning out the rest of the shed. Can't wait. Here we go.